for you, it's no big deal. But for that dog, it's seeing what's on top of the fucking counters, man. It's like doesn't see that. Usually it's looking up at everything. For quite a number of years, I have uh, had confusion on my exact reality. Um, so you ever notice how today we can't agree on really even source material. If you have an argument with something, you go, where did you get your information? Right. CNN? What? So it transforms its reality a little bit. So mm. flight transformed human reality in this intense way. The Truman Show reflects an example of a, uh, of a strange reality. Right. Fox News, you fucking, you know, the conversation that you can't even start. Right. Because we don't have, now we're talking about a simulation, maybe this whole thing. And now the satellites floating around our planet have transformed it even more. Because we see, oh shit, yeah, we're on a planet. You know, he, he's, he's like, gradually he picks up that something's not quite right about my life, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we and I are just self-replicating machines, you know what, so nobody really knows at this point. We're like, it's a ball that we're floating around, or a flat earth, or whatever. <laughs> but, <laughs> but my reality is just not quite right. And then eventually he discovers he's in a little a bubble on, and he's on TV. It's really hard to arrive at a fixed point of truth. Right. Back in the day, the Bible was your fixed point of truth, maybe Aristotle. The next, the next sort of liftoff is to somehow rise above the time-space continuum. So, Terry, me, uh, there's just something not right about my reality. And uh, there were all these sort of new Nietzsche, Marx, who said God is dead, or uh, Nietzsche said God is dead. So that time itself becomes an object instead of a thing that we're stuck inside of. That's like the next big lift up. You know, maybe one day he came up with the conception Hey, what if I'm like in a bubble and there's cameras? But Marx basically said, uh, religion is the opium of the masses. Human beings are the masters of their own fate. And that there are already things that are, see time as an object instead of as a river that we're currently being rolled around in. And he had this conception that explained his reality. And all of these guys who basically took God out of the equation and all of them were basically saying that we are animals. And for them, we look totally different. So that's like the next, that's what like maybe McKenna was talking about. What I need is some concept of what my reality is. You know what I mean? And God is, an, it, God is no longer here. We're animals. And if you don't create a society to control our animalistic impulse, the idea of the time machine or the singularity or whatever is that like, once we figure that for for the Truman Show guy, his answer was he's on a TV show and they're taking cameras of him. Because we're gonna fucking slaughter and rape each other, and World War One proved all of those guys right, basically. But I know there's never gonna be a fucking time machine. I know it's insane, but the theoretically it's possible. For Terry, I have zero conception of what my reality is. I don't know. But it was a time when there was, the, everything was up in the air. Einstein comes along and says, time and space, mm. You know, people do say it. it, it could be possible. Like, there's no, necessarily, there is no reason for us to be stuck. The simplest thing is, I'm a person who's on disability, and uh, I drive around in my car. Not so fast, it's actually relative. And everybody went, what? Huh? He goes, yeah, time doesn't exist like a stopwork in the current way that we are. At least mean, that's from the fucking uh, documentary I saw when I was super stoned. And I buy food and I sleep in a campground. And once in a while I talk to a person. God didn't start a stopwatch and that's what Newton said, but actually if Good luck trying to work your way through that. You can't. Four years ago, like they were saying you could use like star, the power of a star or something to. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. In a store, I asked them for, you know, if I make a purchase of soda or something and i'm like this <laughs> and I, I don't want to say anything <laughs> i don't want to say anything who what german mathematician it was like a german mathematician that theorized buy some cigarettes um, but then it starts getting strange just so they Did you want to impress them though with some of your uh, esoteric knowledge so badly <laughs> so badly about the the time machine and the time machine would have to be 
I want to say the machine would have to be like as big as a solar system. Like, uh, like uh, why does the radio seem to talk to me? <laughs> I, wa I, was, I wasn't even listening. I was, uh, I was like, what can I say? What, hey, you guys ever read uh, um, Chomsky? Yeah, Chomsky, whatever. Right. You'd have to be spinning at the speed of light and you transverse this axis yeah, or something like that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, something like that insane. But it's like, all, it's not. Like when I say stuff here, in a ring, or, when I talk to myself. It just makes no sense. Christy is a good friend of mine. Her and I take yoga together. Her and I kids go to the same school. I mean, obviously for where we're at right now, this isn't a feasible option. Right. But if it's possible. The radio seems to uh, respond. Now, it perhaps uh, have uh, her and you thought of taking a basic English class. When we exist in an infinite universe, then why wouldn't things have potentially figured out a way to... I have to explain that when it responds, it's sort of like in uh, sort of a code. To Christy and Kevin, we're not going to get anything out of talking to Jilly and Tiffany, and I don't think Amanda and Travis would tell us anything that we couldn't get from Tana. To get beyond the time-space continuum. So, like, you know, we're looking for aliens inside of time and space, or, uh, you know. Now, uh... No, the answer lies with Christy or Kevin. Or does the answer lie with the local clothing designer, Kent Elitrash? But maybe there's like, the thing we should be, that we're looking for, we don't even have the technology. So. We can't rule out renowned plastic surgeon, Dr. Slater. How the f do you remember all these assholes' names? To scan outside of past, present, and future, because that's what we're in right now. Do you have bad eyesight? I had, I had LASIK. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I used to wear contacts and glasses. And no. Stuff. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the, the slavers want you to be some, uh, I don't know, some suburban uh, piece of... Well, so if you, you get into it, it's like, you have to start from scratch several times and go, okay, what, what are the, how are they doing this? Because that's what we're in right now. These things are, like, way outside of our understanding of what... Um, when did you get LASIK? Right, that was my graduation gift from my dad when I graduated yeah, high school. Fuck, yeah. What's the point of being a boring suburban? Well, I'm real productive. It, you're just a suburban nothing, okay? And why is this legal? And how is this legal? And and when you're dealing with just numbers too, that's what's disturbing to me. Of what this even is, we can't even fucking see them. Like the ants can't see us. Like we can't even see yeah. them. From high school to college. Son. College, now you can see better. So you can really when you get that surgery though, because when you get it done, you go blind for about 20 seconds. You're just another another goddamn suburban, uh, nothing. Like, who's gonna tell your story? Like, There's something about environmental impact that at least it seems somewhat tangible. Mm -hmm. Like it's a thing, right? Who knows? I mean, it's impossible to, to really, like at this point, we can't prove that this isn't the default base reality. Ooh. Just everything goes dark and then it comes right That's back. That's very scary. It's like, oh, it's dude. It's because they do it with a laser and it's painless, right? Yeah. You're not living. You're. Not, it's vicarious. This. I'm just telling you. They got an attitude with me. They're like, well, you need to get a job. Hey, look. It's carbon in the atmosphere. It's a. There's an impact. The, the, the temperature rises. The sea level rises. The. You know what I'm saying? That the entire universe is experiencing, but my guess would be that no way, man. This is like a. You don't. They numb your eye. I know, I know they have to make a little incision just on the the and peel back the the opening flap. Look, I'm just telling you, you're just some worthless suburban. Like this guy paying any attention to the. You're at, how many how many suburban dwellers we got? Like there's physical things, whereas numbers are these weird things where if your whole business model is predicated... I think it's more realistic that we're in a fucking, uh, like, a, a novelty farm, like some kind of technological novelty farm. And then the laser goes into that. It's fucking astonishing that we can do that. I think human beings are complicated machines. We got shitloads. It's like, everybody needs to be real productive, suburban. That's just bullshit, man. That's, I'm just telling you, that's bullshit. It's on increasing the amount of numbers <laughs> that you earn. Like, it's we're in, like, a... I mean, to use human terms, we're like, I mean, if you could simulate a universe and we are just, we have, we're going to become excellent mechanics and the more we learn about our own machine. It's a story that is boring as fuck. It's worthless, you know, like, be real, man. You can find ways 
especially if other people are willing to go along with that, you can find ways to screw with those mm -hmm. things. And then create intelligent anything, sentient intelligent beings, that are particularly sentient intelligent beings that matched you. You can robot. do anything. You can robot. Robots. Oh. I would get an artificial eye if it was better and maybe let me see like an eagle. Why would God pay attention to you? Well, I got a, I got a nice suburban job. I, I'm a good, hardworking person. And that's, that's the most disturbing thing about finances to me. Mm -hmm. Like the Bernie Madoff situation. Your species, duplicate yourself even, and then run that duplication an infinite number of times. It's like the Elon Musk thing where they want to put that implant in your head. I don't want all that info, dude. I don't want to, I don't... Yeah, but God pays no attention to you. You know, he's, he's paying attention to the prisoners doing their crazy stuff. I'm just telling you, this is the truth, you know. Uh, like how many people had to know that there's something wrong with the amount of money they're earning. In this server mechanism or whatever you have in your supercomputer, and then like, you know, you just set time to loop. Then what's the point of learning anything or reading or experiencing things? Like it, you well, have that implant this... and you can just, just. He's more interested in the, the interesting people. Like, be real, who's more interesting? Some crazy criminal who pops up and shoots somebody. How many people had to know that? How many people had to, how many people, and how many people are like, listen, these are just numbers. We're just getting these numbers. Uh, it, 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 it'll, it, as fast a rate as your uh, computer would let you. Any information, like, then there's really no reason to argue either. If yeah. We both know the exact facts to a T. Or your average suburban person. Like, who would you pay attention to? Like, if you're God and you're like, looking at all these amps. It's like. We're putting numbers in. We're getting numbers back. We're getting more numbers back than we get in. So we're good. Yeah. yeah. So at night, you just like. You let it run in the morning, you wake up, and it's like, oh, fuck, look, Hemingway, huh? That's interesting. There's no argument, there's no point of view. We said it's just all fact. Well, I can watch these suburban people go to work. That's real nice of them. I just love watching these suburban people all day long. And I think any industry like finance that is incredibly complicated yeah. and abstract. I think the entire works of Hemingway just got generated in my universe simulator by one of the simulated creatures that I had in there. But I've been thinking about two things. In this time of racial racial turmoil and stuff like that. Look at that suburb. Look at that suburb. They are so hardworking. Dude, uh, there's like moderation. right? In, in that way that doesn't feel quite right, but, but who really knows? is one that is absolutely ripe for denial. I mean, it's a very prosperous job. You'd be like a novelty farmer or something, in the same way they've got this fucking Bitcoin thing. Technology is getting us to a point in 50 years, 40 years, where what it means to be human, it's going to be... I'm not a Calvinist, I'm a Catholic, okay? Calvin's like, work is the meaning of life. I'm not a Mormon. Mormons are like, well... Because the complexity means nobody really knows the risk. It also means the industry can, and it did. ...that are like constantly grinding to like make bitcoins. You're fucking making universes, and inside the universes, the universes are made... ...so different that it might... In, in 20 years, it might flatten... It might flatten any difference at all. No, I'm a Catholic. Uh, the Catholics come from the, uh, you know, the Fighting Irish Notre Dame, you know? Uh, there's your Catholic, okay? Go to Congress and say, you don't get this, which was true. Mm. Um, and so, okay, we're selling these derivatives. Making planets, and the planets are making technology, and the technology is being uh, every single whatever your morning happens to be. Because we are going to mesh with machines, and it's going to be a whole different thing, so. That's scary. Be, be proud of it, because we're drunken brawlers and shit like that. Who's, who's guy going to pay attention to? And yeah, maybe they're super complicated and nobody knows what they are, but you regulators, hands off. Whenever you wake up, you're like, oh, cool, we've got... Whoa, that's interesting. That's a new form of teleportation. I haven't seen that before. And Killer Mike goes, he, he just literally says the N-word 15 times and goes... Some, some uh, Calvin, that Calvin is a tree. You know, they got these uh, lumberjack people, right? He's a, he's a lumberjack. We, you know, the market, we are self-disciplined. We, the industry, can will not take crazy risks. Uh, it's a way to, like, harvest information from a uh, kind of living AI or something mm. like that. You know, living like AI. You guys are all talking about who has the best master. And it was like everybody went, oh, everybody, it was all black. Does and does his thing, goes home to his family, and does his, he's a real hard working Calvin. Uh, and, and by the way, you should get rid of those depression era laws so we can do some other stuff. Mm. And, and then eventually, of course, you have the financial crisis. A very, a really smart way to kind of like, 
gather data or to create not novelty event. I can think of it. He's yeah. like, he goes, you, you gotta, until you have your own thing, that is not a conversation to have. Does Brady got no, he's not pious, uh, but he's a hard worker, you know, and uh, or is he gonna pay attention to some, you know, drunken brawler that... But the abstract nature of all these numbers also means that whatever little bell might go off in somebody's head... So, I mean, just for the pure entertainment of it, like, if you had a way to, like, access, like, five, like, for you, it's like, you know... You gotta get out of that. This dude thinks outside the box in a way... Like, some people are so fucking smart, you're like, God yeah, he's damn. He's brilliant, man. Uh, every now and then he goes on a binge and fucks up and, like, he makes an interesting life, you know? Uh, who's he gonna pay attention to? I'm saying, this is gonna hurt somebody. It's gonna be muted. It's gonna be ignored because... It just feels so abstract. Right, right now we download a movie. It takes like two minutes, five minutes, what, depending on your connection. He's so smart, so articulate, and has thought this shit through deeply. Yeah, he's brilliant. Just telling him, just telling him. Like, who's, who's the guy I want to party with? Well, I'm a Calvin person. Obviously, God wants to talk to me. No, you're boring as fuck. In the same way, like, you wait five minutes and a universe is born and dies, and throughout that, it can pick out an interesting moment. You're like... Like, Jesus is, like, hanging out with the prostitutes and shit. It's like, look at this. Oh, look, here's that moment where in that planet, uh, the World War Three started. The sinners, you know. Uh, oh, but that's because they're sinners. No, uh, wink, wink, wink. Uh, okay, yeah, they're the sinners, right? 